It's scary out there. It's Halloween. And we're playing Doom on Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Ultimate Doom walkthrough on the Ultra Violence difficulty for the PC. This is played through Z Doom. I'm Big Mac Davis, and this is Episode 2, Mission 4 Demos Lab. Alright, so right off the bat, we have a secret here to our right. And inside here, we have access to some ammunition and stuff. So just grab all that, and then go through the teleporter. Now in this area, kill all of the enemies around here. There's the other imp. And then more often than not, a demon will come from this area, so make sure to snipe him off first. And then go and flip the switch to lower the lift. And then ride the lift at the top. Now you can take either left or right around here. And how do we grab these items behind the walls here? Well, you go to the right side and hug this red thing, and the walls will lower. Three rockets usually takes care of most, if not all, of the enemies. To kill the stragglers, just use the shotgun or chain gun. So now we'll continue on. Huh, no imps. Usually there are some imps there, but whatever. See that blue floor over there? Get to it. Grab the berserk pack for a secret area. And then grab your chain gun, have it ready. Because you want to kill the cacodemon and all the lost souls. The stupid lost souls. And he's dead, and that should be everybody. Now, more often than not, yep, you'll have an ambush of some imps to the left side. So, just deal with them, it's not that hard. Alright. They're all dead. Now there is a wall on the other side of this slime river, way over there. The only way to open it is to go halfway across this area, right right where I just stood. See, now it opened. That's the only way to open it. Yeah, can't talk about a stupid trigger point, but whatever. We're going to use the fist to yeah, yeah, kill all of these demons. It's not that hard if you stand here in this corner. They have a lesser chance of actually biting you because of the limited angles that they have to bite you. So just hug this corner, and kill the demons and the occasional specter. I think there's like two here in the group. Where you going, demon? I'm right here. All right. Anyway, this is a secret area. Grab all of the bonuses. And the luscious soul sphere, which I almost don't need. <laughs> and the radiation suit. That will come in handy. So we'll grab the stuff here, because we might need it. And then head to the right here. Oh no, the wall closed! Just punch it to reopen it, or shoot it, whatever you want. Grab the stuff here, and um, I use the chain gun for this next part. The invisibility does come in handy with the shotgunners, so that's a nice bonus there. Where's the cacodemon? Okay, well, when you when you come into this area, yeah, the floor will raise to where you can't exit. There's the cacodemon. There's the big red tomato. But yeah, the floor will raise so you can't exit this area for right now. And then to top things off, yeah, a crushing ceiling. That shit hurts. So how do we exit this area then? Well, I'll show you. It's this switch. It will lower the floor for you to escape. So continuing on, which path to take? The path to the right or the path in front of us? The path in front of us, of course. Get your plasma rifle ready. Yes, the Baron is dead. The Baron of Hell. All right, flip the switch to lower the lift. Grab the blue key, and then flip this switch to lower this part. I'm gonna switch to my chainsaw here, and be very careful as you navigate the crushing ceiling hallway. Yes! Rip into this cacodemon! 
and he's dead. Alright, now if you take this path, you can grab some health there. But the reason why we came up here was to grab this radiation suit, and the rockets, and the plasma cell. Yeah, all the goodies. Alright, so we'll make our way back across the crushing ceiling hallway. And now that we have the blue key, we can go back and take this path. I use a rocket right here. Sometimes it takes out most, sometimes it takes them all out. Just depends on the angle and stuff. Now back here, this is an easy to miss enemy. There is a Cacodemon. Yeah, sometimes he can actually still fire at you even though the chainsaw's ripping him apart. So, there's the blue door. We'll go through it with our plasma rifle ready for another Baron. Like I said in the previous video, these guys are normal bad guys now. Now be careful as you grab the yellow key. You've got to be quick. A crushing ceiling. If you're not fast enough, you're dead. Or at least suffer major damage, and that's no good. Here's the yellow door conveniently placed nearby. Take the left path here in this ring and take the first left you come to. Look at all of these doors. Which one to open up first? The middle one. But get your rocket launcher ready for a trap. Okay. That wasn't too bad, but yeah, you can see that that trap is kinda nasty if you're not prepared for it. Alright, anyway, now we'll open up the door on the far right. And in this area, you can peek around the corner and actually blow up the barrels. And you get the Mega Armor! I love Mega Armors. Alright, now back in here, when you grab the Mega Armor, it will actually open up the left door, so you can go inside here now. Oh no! We're trapped in this room. What to do? We'll grab the items. And this green wall is actually a hidden wall. Chainsaw time! Yes! Therapeutic! It's nice to rip into lost souls. Anyway, they're all dead. So we'll just continue back up here. Now before you exit, don't forget about this platform down there. See those medikits down there? That's a secret area. Yeah, easy to miss secret area. To get out of this area, just go over here, open up the wall, and yeah, you're out. So now we can finally exit out of this area, back up the stairs, and go left again. Now see that hole down there? You can fall down into it, but we're trapped, right? Well, there's a secret area. Another secret, yeah. Go through the teleporter. Oh boy, what to do here? We'll use our fist is what we'll do. This area can be quite deadly, but I took no damage, which is kind of nice. Alright, now fall down this ledge. You can flip the switch to actually raise stairs back up to that ledge. And the same thing goes for this switch right here. Cacodemon punched out. Only three hits, too. Not bad. Another Cacodemon? Ouch! That kind of hurt there, Cacos. Alright. Now this area can be pretty dangerous. I ignore the Barons of Hell for right now. And I do my best to circle around this ring area and try to kill all the imps and the one remaining Cacodemon. The trick in this room is to not panic. If you panic, you're gonna get hit. Just take it slow if you have to, and circle around and kill all the enemies. You could also use the plasma rifle to kill everything in this room. That's it. That's a strategy you might want to try. But anyway, I will use the plasma rifle for these guys. The two barons of hell. Yeah, they're using the barons now a lot or at least more so than last time. And everyone's dead. Alright, now there are two rooms, one to the left and one to the right. The one on the right has absolutely nothing in it. But the room on the left 
has a switch. It will lower the lift here, and you can ride it to the top, but it just takes you back to that ring. Yeah, so fall back down. The way we want to go is over here and to this teleporter. Hello, demon. Come here, demon. Goodbye, demon. Alright, we come to a blood pit here. That teleporter over there will just take you back down to those two barons. The two baron area. We want to go over here and flip the switch. This switch will actually raise a path to the exit. Go back to the teleporter, go through the teleporter again, and then cross the bridge. Now touch the exit door, but don't open it yet. Ah, a path to the soul sphere. Your final secret. Oh, that is so luscious. There were two imps in there, and they're both dead. And we are done with this level. Demo Slab. This is actually my favorite level in Episode 2. It's not my favorite level of the whole game, though, but I do enjoy this map a lot. It's unfortunate that this map is in Episode 2, because, you know, Episode 2 kind of stinks as a whole. But this map is pretty fun. I do enjoy it a lot. The monster placement is nice. The traps are, you know, not too difficult. But if you're unprepared for them, you're gonna get, you know, hit. <laughs> and damaged in that sort of way. Um, there's nothing really much to say about this map. It's pretty big. I mean, but it's pretty straightforward in and of itself as well. Even though there are side areas, the side areas are on the way to your objectives, so it's like you can't really get lost a whole bunch in this map, and that's what's nice about this. I really do enjoy the map for that reason. Um, yeah, nothing else to say. We will move on to Command Center in the next video, Episode 2, Mission 5. I'm Big Mac Davis, and I'll see you next time. Have a fun, but safe Halloween.